an abandoned national landmark in North St. Louis has been recreated into a jaw-dropping, one-of-a-kind destination. The owners of the place are now using it to attract youth and reshape their future. Malik Wilson is joining us live to take us inside Skate Laborious. I cannot wait for this story, Malik. Dana, it is so cool. I think jaw-dropping is the perfect adjective for to describe this building. Going inside here is just, it's, it's crazy. You guys have got to check this story out. Just off Hogan Street, you'll find what seems to be an abandoned church. This is the St. Laborious Church. It's the oldest neo-Gothic church west of the Mississippi River. It's a, on the National Registry of Historic Places. It's a local and national landmark. But on the inside of this national historic landmark, without being told, you might not expect what you're about to see. So inside, um, we have a, a skate park and we're also building like a, a art center for underserved urban youth in the city of St. Louis. The park is called Skate Laborious. Um, instead of St. Laborious, now it's Skate Laborious. It's a, a new rebirth use of the building. The rebirth of the building started 10 years ago when the previous owners of the building didn't want anything to do with it. So when we got this building, it was trashed. It was on the edge of kind of being too far gone. Dave Blum and Joss Hay here, along with several others, have been repairing things like leaks, windows, and flooring. I mean, you name it, they've repaired it. And we've been at it for 10 years. And most of the crucial things that were destroying the building, we've, we've kind of took care of most of those. And now we're raising money to uh, build out the inside so we can start really uh, heading down the road on our mission. And that mission is why they even created Skate Laborious in the first place. I was also very aware that skateboarding is like a really powerful social tool that, you know, kid to work with kids and to, you know, that it teaches kids really valuable lessons about, you know, continuing to try after you fail and determination and working with different groups of people from all walks of life. And those are very valuable lessons. Those valuable lessons have helped kids stay on the right track in life. And it's not just on a skateboard. People are, are coming in here, they're, they're learning skills such as tuck pointing, they're learning ways in construction, building things. Um, we have, we have a whole avenue of, of connections. Music, right. Yeah, music, for music. Right. I mean, people are making music videos here. Um, they're they're putting on plays. They're doing meditative dance sessions. There's there's endless amounts of potential here. That endless potential is what's leading kids away from the norm. A lot of times, in, in a lot of these underserved areas, kids don't have the opportunity to ever find out, you know, what they're passionate about. Like, you never find out that you love film and photography if no one ever puts a camera in your hand. If you're just living, you know, trying to survive in your neighborhood. And it's not like in any of these underserved communities, there's a lack of ability or aptitude or talent. There's just a lack of opportunity. The only thing holding the mission back is lack in funding. Skate Laborious needs roughly a million dollars. We need to upgrade our electric panel. We need to build proper staircases for egress. We're working with a really incredible architecture firm, V3 Architects. Gabe McKee and Kurt over there have been just incredible working with us. And so um, that's what we're raising money for, is to be able to really open the doors to everyone. Like we want to provide these services to everyone because I feel like um, those these types of things are really valuable and that our city needs like interesting epic third spaces for young people to come to to you know find out what they're passionate about and explore it. If you guys are interested in donating you can visit their website at sk8 the number eight laborious.com or you can visit them um, on their Instagram at sk8 laborious as well you can also visit them they need a ton of help Dana I really 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 want to see this all come together yeah. A million bucks is a lot, but um, the, the benefits are well overboard. Imagine what $1 million could do to that place. I hope they keep the cool vibes, though, even with the money. <laughs> oh, for sure. Yeah. For sure. I've definitely seen that place <laughs> on the gram. People use it for all sorts of things, like pop-up dinners I think I've seen there, too. So very cool. Thanks so much, Malik.